Well, hello. Welcome back to Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona. You can see there's boxes to the side. We are almost ready to go. A few more days and we will be heading back home. Totally excited. But this morning, I am in a fun collaboration by Janet and her YouTube channel is Homestead Where You Are. I love the title because it, it matches with me, um, Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona. Where you are, you can homestead. No matter the little piece of land you have, the balcony you have, um, or the 40 acres or more that you have. But she is doing a collaboration that's called Feast in a Jar. So this is my Feast in the Jar. It's fajita, beans, and rice. And I'm going to show you all the ingredients I put in there. So I start with the fajita seasoning mix. And then I have a tomato paste. And that is actually, the can is actually going to go into the jar so that I can use later. Um, and then I have some dehydrated vegetables that um, I also ground up. So they're very powerful. Zucchini, broccoli, pumpkin, and some cabbage. Now the beans I'm going to use... Oh, and I'm also going to add long grain rice. That is an option for you. Um, I'm going to use some black beans and some red kidney beans. And so I put the jar in there. And so it's, it's just saving space. Everything is there that I need. And so I put a funnel on top. And first I'm going to put a cup of the kidney beans in there. And it's just going to surround that can. And then I'm doing a, a cup of the regular beans. And then I'm going to put in, you guessed it, a cup of rice. And so I'm just going to shake, start shaking it after each thing now, just so it settles down some. There goes the package of fajita. And it's real easy to just put the lid back on and then just shake it up. And it starts to just filter down. And that way I still have space on top to add those dehydrated ground up vegetables that I had. I'm trying to do this one handed, of course. And so I'm going to put the funnel back on and you can see how I shook it a little bit more even and how it's just starting to go down there. Now I, I'm using a fourth of a cup total. So it has the pumpkin and everything in it. Now, when you go to cook this, you can cook it a couple different ways because it does have kidney beans and black beans in there. Now, a lot of people soak their beans overnight, which I like to do. But if you have an Instapot, you don't have to soak them. You can actually cook this, everything in this jar with five to six cups of water because this is a quart jar. And um, it takes about 30 minutes in an Instapot. Now, I don't actually have to have an Instapot that I own. And I like to soak my beans overnight. So everything is going to get soaked overnight. The rice, the beans, the tomato um, jar, that the paste that's actually in the bottom of this jar. I'll take it out and um, everything is going to soak overnight with six cups of water. Then I'm not going to drain it off. I'm going to use that water and I'm just going to cook it. Now, pros and cons with doing it overnight versus in an Instapot. I think both ways are, are fine. The, in the Instapot, when it's doing it, the pressure, 30 minutes, you're going to have more beans that split. I actually like to add, at, when, it's cook, when I cook it in the, the morning, I'll simmer it with some ground beef or some cooked chicken, turkey, you could put ground turkey in there. I'm just going to let simmer and I'm going to let a lot of that water evaporate off for supper that night. You can eat it just like it is, or you can scoop it out and put it on some tortillas. You can add fresh vegetables when it's cooking. All kinds of options for you, but this is a great start for you. So I hope you try. The recipe will be in the description below well, on everything that I used and make it your own. I like to add fresh garlic because you know me and Joe, we love fresh garlic. Anything that's in the garden at the time, I'm going to chop up them and I'm going to put in there too. 
Um, if I'm putting on a tortilla, I'm going to add some cheese. And the, the possibilities are endless. But I hope you check out all of the videos. Every single day this month, there is a different channel doing um, a feast in the jar. So Janet, thanks for asking me if I would be part of this. And I hope you guys get some great ideas. Because all this stuff you can store on your shelf until you need something to make that day. Always like, subscribe, share with the world. I uh, will see you next time. And pretty soon, I will see you in Wyoming.